Metrolina for having us. This is actually the second company I've had the pleasure of presenting here. The first one back in 2008. It was actually the same day I brought my daughter home, so this has a very special, special place in my heart. But I'd like to introduce Aluma Care Connections to you today. We're a healthcare company focused on care coordination, working with very large health plans to ensure that their chronic disease patients are getting the care they need when they need it so that everybody can win. Patients are getting the right care, the health plans are making sure their patients are preventing disease progression, and the doctors are seeing more patients at the time they need. So very simply, we connect health plans with providers and providers with patients. So what opportunity did we see in the market? Well, as many of you in healthcare know, regulations are changing, and a lot of that was driven with the Affordable Care Act. The first macro change is risk is now being spread. So historically, health plans and employers took all the risk of acute care, chronic disease management. Well, now that risk is being spread to doctor groups. How they measure that is really important. And so now health plans and doctors are both now being paid based on the outcomes of their patients. So historically, doctors were getting paid every time they touched you, they talked to you, they measured something called fee-for-service. Well, now people are engaging in population health and making sure that the populations of patients that both the health plan and the doctor groups are responsible for are healthy and they're measuring outcomes, and as a result, their economics are now tied to that. Medicare, which is CMS, is really leading the way, and they said publicly in 2018, half of all their payments, which, by the way, they're the largest payer in the U.S. system, will be tied to risk. So what does that mean? So that now health plans, rather than spending a lot of energy trying to keep people out of the doctor's offices, are now spending $20 billion a year to intervene with patients that have a need before the disease progresses, and they're doing this in a variety of ways, and we're one of those ways. And so we're really starting with a focus on diabetes, and people often ask me, well, why diabetes? Well, if you think about healthcare, it's about 18% of our GDP, about $3 trillion of our economy, and one in six dollars is spent on diabetes and diabetes-related diseases. So it's $500 billion a year, so it's a big problem. Almost 30 million Americans have diabetes, even more have a pre-diabetes. And what most people don't realize is that it's the leading cause of blindness in the United States. So we're really starting with diabetics with a very narrow focus on eye prevention. So how does our model work? We start by working with large health plans, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Aetna, United, Humana, and we identify a list of their diabetic patients that have not had their standards of care met for eye care. We then go into a limited geography, and we recruit providers, optometrists, ophthalmologists, retina specialists, and we then wire them together with our proprietary technology that has been in development for over three years, has a little over $8 million into the product, and we integrate directly into their EMR, into their scheduling system. What that allows us to do is then have a team of care coordinators do outreach to patients, both telephonically, email, multimodal channels, engage the patients, help educate them on the importance of eye care as it relates to their disease, and then schedule them directly into any one of those practices that are part of our narrow network. The revenue model for us allows us to become a two-sided market. So we get a subscription fee from the providers that pay us a small fee to get access to our platform, and then we get a recurring revenue stream from the health plan. The health plan is 85, 90% of our overall revenue. The recurring piece is a PMPM, or a per member per month, and then we get a bonus for every person that we successfully close their care gap for. So who are we working with? So we're about a year and a half old company, and it's really been in the past 10 months that we've kind of had this focus. And I'm really happy to say that we started with Anthem, which if you guys don't know Anthem, Anthem insures about 35 million Americans. We're the second largest company in the US in the health insurance space. And we kind of had this idea that, hey, we can do this, but we don't know how well we can perform, how we price it, and we had a lot of unknowns. So we decided to go and offer them a pilot for free. And we talked at the board, should we do it for free, not do it for free? And we, we decided the best thing to do was engage them as a partner. And so we started in New York with Empire Blue Cross. We then expanded it to Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kentucky, which then allowed us to have our first paid program with Anthem, with Blue Cross of California. And now we're working with their Medicare group in six states. Simultaneously, we onboarded Humana, working with their Medicare team in six states. And we've got a very large and robust and growing pipeline. I'm happy to say as we stand here today, we're actually finishing our contract with Aetna. 
So by the end of this quarter, we'll be contracted with the second, third, and fifth largest health plan in the United States, managing nearly 60,000 diabetic members for them. Here's the team, myself, Stephen Kendig, I'm the CEO and founder. Eric Curl, my CIO, and I actually worked together at a previous startup. And then Dr. Donafell, who's a leading ophthalmologist, sits on many boards of large, large public companies, president of ASKERS, which is the American Society of Cataract and Refractive Surgeons. And we have got a very young and strong team. Financially, last year, we were really kind of still pre-revenue as we were kind of getting on our way. This year, we'll end the year close to 700,000 in revenue. All of that is gonna be from August till the end of the year. So this month, we should cross over the million dollar revenue run rate threshold. And next year, we're forecasting to do close to $3 million of revenue, of which 60% will come from our existing customers. And once we finalize our Aetna contract, nearly 80% of next year's number will be with existing customers that we have this year. So here's where we're at in terms of a national map. Uh, really excited, expanding rapidly. Um, I, I tell a bad joke that we kind of have more business that we can keep up with, and so we're trying to hire a great team. Um, and so from a capital perspective, we are closing out the second part of our Series A round. It's a $3 million round. We expect to have that done this month. And so I'd love to talk to anybody about a potential Series B, uh, which we expect to do in the summer of next year as we really try to put the gas and accelerate the business. Thank you.